Hey, what's going on guys? This is Kyle with Bish's RV in Junction City, Oregon. It's raining, so I'm gonna get inside as quick as possible. But if you wanna, uh, if you find this video informative or helpful at all, please feel free, to, feel free to like and subscribe right now. Okay, check this out. You got the fiberglass front cap, and you also got those LED lights. Uh, this one's the 2022 North Trail uh, 26 DBS. I forgot, I didn't even mention that. So there's that. But anyways, this is the rig, uh, nice pass-through storage here. Uh, they got the King Kong storage working right here, which essentially means that it's oversized storage, and that comes standard with the North Trails, okay? It also comes standard with the power stabilizer jacks, which is very, very helpful. Let's get inside. Before we do that, check out this awning. You also got, it covers almost the entire rig right here, which is kind of nice, okay? Uh, it's for days like this when it's raining outside. <laughs> but, but yeah, we got the solid steps coming on over here. And uh, let's get on inside. This one's a bunkhouse model, okay? Uh, but let's check and see uh, in this closet as you come into the front. Uh, it's got a couple coat hangers and a nice place for shoes uh, for all the kids or all the people that just come with you or just even your shoes, right? And as soon as you come into, you also got the bathroom, which is a nice size here. Got a nice square shower as well as uh, it's got the skylight which gives you a little bit more headroom for those tall folks out there, okay? And then, this is interesting. This is what's really unique about this rig, is it's a bunkhouse, but the door is absolutely awesome, okay? It's definitely weird in the sense of like, I've never seen this before in my life. But look at that. Nice maneuverable door. So if you wanted to just keep your storage back here or keep the door open, you can do that too. It's quite nice and it hooks up right over here. Right there, there we go. Ta-da, we're in the bunkhouse, okay? So you got the bunks right here, uh, which does come down. Really, really nice soft mattresses. It looks like it says um, a 200 pound uh, max load, which unfortunately I can't fit up there. It won't hold me. <laughs> and it's got uh, also underneath here another bunk, which is quite nice. Okay, and in here, you also got the little chalkboard. So if the kiddos want to write some stuff on here, play tic-tac-toe, just write funny messages, they can do that too. And it's got your uh, TV backer location right here too. So if you wanted to mount one, um, you totally can. Okay, stepping on outside of the bunk room, you got your U-shaped dinette, which is quite nice. This does convert into a sleeping space, uh, which is really, really nice. Uh, you can grab the pillows and put it on there. Uh, another cool thing about this is that these pillows right here, they're actually reversible. So if you don't like the white, you can actually turn them around and it can give you the darker look. So you can really just m actually make it the space you want it to be, okay? So it's gonna stay there. Then you also got some, <laughs> some spaces underneath here for storage, which is quite nice. Okay, and you got the nice light up there. And then look at this TV. I, I mean, in this coach, it doesn't look like it belongs here because it's so dang big, okay? Just really nice oversized TV. You got the uh, radio there as well as the fireplace. So while you're chilling here, hanging out, eating dinner, uh, you can be just using it for ambiance or actual um, heat, which is quite cool. And then this tray here too, this is not just a shelf, believe it or not. This actually scoots out. So if you wanted to put your consoles or any other things like that, um, you can put them right in here. Probably not the PS5, because that's a little, uh, a little too small of an area for that. But anyway, I'll let you do that, okay? Coming on in here, uh, you got the kitchen, which is just right across from it. Really nice wood countertop here. Um, you also have the um, solid um, stainless steel. Uh, I was gonna say solid surface countertops, but that's wrong. No, stainless steel sink, which is nice. And then you got the residential sink uh, right there as well. More spaces for uh, storage above here. Okay, and below as well. Pretty cool. Then you also got your kitchen essentials as well when you got the small oven. So if you wanted to bake a pizza or cookies or anything like that, a three burner stove cooktop uh, with the fan and light above it and even the microwave, which is quite neat um, as you're taking this coach out. You got your fridge right across from here. It's got the, it's both gas and electric and it's a six cubic foot fridge. Um, say that 10 times, I bet you can't. Uh, but anyway, nice Dometic fridge we got here um, on the slide out, which gives you a little bit more space in here. 
okay? Let's take a look at this. <clears throat> Come on into the bedroom. So in the bedroom right here, uh, it comes king size bed standard. With all of these North Trails, the king bed is standard and it's not one of those rinky dink mattresses. It looks like they actually put some time um, and some money in it and actually got a one that you can just don't have to replace from the very beginning, even though that's the first thing you want to do. Um, just because, you know, the mattresses in them are usually not that great, but this one is. Uh, you got some space uh, for storage right here, as well as on the side here. And you also got some uh, 110 plugins on each side of uh, those places there, which is nice for CPAP machines or um, chargers. You also got some space right there, closet, um, and a TV backer location. Okay. Guys, if you like this rig, uh, feel free to give me a call. If you want to see this one or any other ones on my lot, would love to show you. Uh, call me at 541-799-8794. Again, my name is Kyle. Would love to talk to you. For now, happy camping.